Hey everyone, we're back. So, what's up with that horrible noise, you might be asking? Well, that noise is the sound of my frame rate not being stable. No, it's the sound of my automated processing system not having enough power. So, when these cycle and lose power, they will do that. So, how am I going to fix this? Well, easy way. I am going to be making some stuff from extra utilities. First up, transfer node liquid, which involves a transfer node, which involves transfer pipes. Simple enough. Also, cased in this entire thing with liquid or with uh, clear glass. Pretty cool looking stuff. Tinker's construct, really awesome. And I'm just gonna start dumping crap in chests. Okay. Oh, no. This stuff can actually go in the correct chests. So, first up, I'm gonna need some redstone. Some glass. Stone. Sleep through the night. Generally helpful. Um, and what else did it need? Oh, that's it. Okay. That's a lot of those, but that's useful. Hoppers. So, as you can see, I have done a fair amount of heart farming between this episode and last. Sorry about that. Okay. And let's quick grab a stack of cobble and chuck it in one of these. So, the system is now automated to uh, at least process through one machine. Do I have you hooked up for power? Yes, I do. And this stuff, tin dust, or cesium. Oh, I bet I know why that's doing that. Okay. Oh well. Some more small problems processing. I'll get to that later. Uh, hoppers. Let's make a few hoppers. One, two, three, four. That's more than enough. Okay. Convert the rest of these into ender pearls. And now I just wait for the stone to be done. Oops. So this system will... I'm not going to make the mistake I made earlier when I was working on this. The system will process and drop down into any of these chests. And the reason that there are some iron chests and some that aren't is that uh, some machines get more used more than other, and it was also to prevent auto-connecting for things that shouldn't auto-connect. Kind of frustrating when things that aren't supposed to auto-connect do. There we go, we got four. Now we need some more iron. Oh, we got eight. Alright, each crafting is, is a fair amount. Hmm. Lapis... What else did I need? Nothing else. Let's convert the gold down. Okay. That's four of them. That's far more than I need. Okay, now, we're going to place this right here, we're going to place these right here. Now, this will, very slowly, fill up with lava, and search through the entire network, which in this case is only four blocks, 
and look for some place that it can put these. So, this is not efficient at the moment. How do I increase the efficiency? Well, there's a few ways. Uh, first up, I'm going to have to grab an... I'm going to have to not get stuck in the wall. But I'm also going to have to grab an iron pick to do this. And use the fact that uh, the inventory space, or the, the data for the uh, tank is stored in a different way, or in a block in the bottom of it. So as I will not break and destroy the system. I need a dust stack of these. Let's grab the 25 stack. Now, there is another way that I can do, or increase the speed of this, which also involves the transfer node upgrade speed. And I will do that. However, the big way to fix this is more of these. Now, each and every single one of these uh, liquid transfer nodes can pro or hold and process or hold and maintain 20 speed upgrades. So here we go. We've got some power starting to generate. I said power starting to generate. Hmm. So what we're going to do at the moment is actually add another bat box to the line. I have a partly charged battery because I was testing some things with batteries, or with uh, the solar panels that I had added. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the stuff we need to make some more batteries. Um, let's grab this tin. That's two batteries. Enjoy, sit and enjoy the awesome background music in Minecraft, which I personally really love. It's very soothing. Um, bat box. Five pieces of wood. it does need to be charged. Or I have a piece of wood in there that's not an actual... No, it is. Okay. That's weird. Let's charge up the batteries. And this is firing these guys up. So, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab some amount of stone. And we're going to fire up the furnaces. Little furnaces cooking on full tilt. You got put in the wrong thing. Uh, okay. Where, where did that... Oh, you're in the bat box. You're not in there. So, I'm going to fill this up, and let's go ahead and pop the recipe in. I may have put something in wrong. Another bat box. Sweet. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to put this in right here. And these will start firing at full tilt. And for the time being, this array will work. All of these have hit the max internal. And these have all of the power they need until this is filled up. So, with that in mind, let's go make some things that actually use all of this power. Like, like
like, let's grab some tin. Make ourselves a backpack. Which involves making batteries. Should be that I don't actually need to charge this. Nope, I don't. Alright, backpacks hold 60,000 EU. So, this is another type of power storage. Alright, these are flickering on and off, which means this is filled up. And these will start filling back up. And, actually, one other neat thing that I can do is. this auto pipe into something that's in or that desperately needs it and I'll be back when I've got this done so this now will auto f auto fill with lava and my backpack is as I can guess completely charged okay So, with this, I can sleep through the night, and we can start by making the next thing that I will be using. Electric drill. Diamond electric drill, mostly. Which involves a mining drill. So, five refined iron, and I'm going to need more refined iron than that. Um, let's go ahead. One, two. Of course. should have had this memorized by now. So, with this, we've got mining drill. And the diamond drill upgrade for this is uh, fairly simple. Let's go ahead and toss back the stuff we don't need. That nets us diamond drill. And let's look at advanced diamond drill. Okay, overclocker upgrades, three of them, and two advanced circuits. Well, for the time being, the diamond drill works. Um, and the reason I'm actually making a diamond drill when there is something like Tinker's Construct is that this allows me to uh, very easily break single blocks. Um, I could make a pick, but in the long run, they end up about the same. They're both technically infinitely usable, and they're both pretty good. So, yeah, that's a thing. But that's one aspect of power, gen da or power down. I'm going to dump more crap in here. And, well, actually... At this point, I think I might set up a sorting system, at least a rudimentary one. So, how am I going to do this? Well, it involves more extra utilities. And the item filter. Do I have the stuff to make item filters? I don't think I have string. I have a string. 
Oh, I have more than a string. Hmm. Okay. Now, luckily, it's only one per one. The other thing is redstone, right? Yep, redstone. So let's go ahead, pop this in here. Grab some redstone. And make ourselves some item filters. Okay. Let's go ahead and wire up the system. Which involves me finding my transfer nodes, which should be now, in this one. Now, this one. Okay. And it's actually going to involve a diamond or a gold chest, among other things. So here we go. Okay. Place this down here and transfer node. This is not going to look pretty. Not in the least bit. Actually, I want to make the sorting pipe. That's right. So, what a sorting pipe will do is it will look for those. No, I don't want to make one of those. Hold on. Let's play, can I remember what I want to make? All right, let's try it like this. No. Hmm. I will be back in a second when I figure this out. So, we're back and... Ah, I should have waited and slept through the night. And I discovered that I cannot do exactly what I would like with what I have from extra utils, or extra utilities. So I've done a bit of mining off camera, um, and a bit of landscaping. I set this up down here, and it's got its uses down here. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on some applied energistics. I'm going to set up a little bit of the basics right now in this episode. I need a controller which involves advanced processor. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Oh, thank you, devs. Okay. So, we actually need an assembly table and, lo and um... Not levers, lasers. So I think that's going to actually have to wait then. And we're just going to have to deal with my terrible, terrible system. Okay, give me a second to process all of this and then we'll figure out where to go from here. Okay, new plan is pretty simple. Um, I am going to set up a lot of the buildcraft stuff that I'm going to need for this infrastructure then. First up, oh, hey, I didn't actually mean to click that. First up is I'm going to be expanding this area back here to uh, allow me to fit in the stuff I need more easily. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'll be back when this is done and ready to move on to the next step. So before I head back inside, I will note that I made an extractor, which I'm using right now to make a very large amount of rubber. Yay, rubber. Okay. And I've got a random sword and chest over here. So, what am I going to need? Well, I'm going to need several things. Um, first off, I'm going to need gears. Or rather, a ge Hey, I have got a stone gear. Okay. 
four iron, four gold, five diamonds, one redstone, and a very large amount of something that I can't obsidian. Okay. Iron gear. Gold gear, diamond gear, assembly table, and lasers. Okay. And I am going to make the full eight of these. Or full nine of these. That's the one. Okay. So first things first. Gonna pop that chest. And we're gonna do this um, right here. And these are not all going to be powered just yet. Uh, I am only going to power, I think, two of them. Alright, other major thing is I'm going to use this to power it. Now, to get on top of the system to didn't work. Okay. Build craft producer. Okay. Now let's set up, and let's go ahead and start ranking us chipset. Wait. Okay. Oh, I feel kind of silly. Well, I mean, it still works. Okay. So what we're going to have to do, or rather what we're going to do, we don't have to, I suppose, is we're going to make straight two stacks of the nether quartz ore. <clears throat> and with this never nether quartz ore, we're going to make silicon. And I'll be back in a second when I have everything processed. Okay, we're back, and we've got some nether quartz dust going. Let's go ahead and grab one of you. Let's head over to the assembly table. Make an ME advanced processor. This will take a very, very, very long time. power do you require? 50,000 Minecraft jewels. Right, let's go look at the solar. Cause, or look at the power system, because I can almost guarantee this is not going to be enough by itself. This is going to take a very long time. Oh yeah. 10,000 ticks. 500 seconds. Just shy of 10 minutes. Okay. So, well, while that's going, let's go ahead and make some, uh, some more solar panels. Actually, I will be back after I've created either more solar panels or the chipset finishes. Okay, and we're back, and a solution to my problem has presented itself to me. So it's going to involve golden conductive pipes. 
and actually making golden conductive pipes. Okay, and a geothermal generator. So, let's go ahead and run a line to, let's go with up there, and let's head up there. Do need to eat food at some point. Also, I do want to note that there's an airplane flying over my house and that I have a whole bunch of quarried stone, and quarried stone looks really cool. Okay, geothermal. And part of this is also going to include. Oh god, I didn't want to do that. get set up before I forget that much. They're all searching, okay. Those do have to search, so I will let them do that. to go in the bottom. So. Yeah, let's just put it like that. I don't care about the looks that much. And it does have to restart the search. And we are going to place... And get very lucky about something several of these. Output limited. Alright, system, why are you not providing power to what needs it? Or lava to what needs it? I bet you need speed upgrades. There we go. Now it's getting lava. And in theory, this should only ever run when I actually need it to run. So let's quick look at this. Getting 28 EU. And these do not appear to be able to receive power from this. Guess maybe they need to be wooden pipes. Although I thought that uh, this version of Buildcraft, which does include a very large amount of changes, made it so I don't need to do that. Oops, you are not what I wanted. Well, let's go ahead and try to make some wooden pipes then. I can use hop seed for this. Yes, I can. Sweet. Although I don't actually need eight, I'm still going to make eight. And now I need to go up to the right place. No, that doesn't work. Huh. Well, let's 
telling me that they are linked. Well, that's weird. It might be the conversion formula, but for the time being, we've at least improved the efficiency. So, and it'll run during the night, but I will be back when it's done. Ah, right, brief little bit. Forgot, I got the pickaxe of the core. Awesome. Okay, so we made our first ME Advance processor. However, what we're going to do with that is going to have to wait until next episode. So, I will see you guys next time.